Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We're going to get into the heavyweight fight uh, that is on ESPN that absolutely no one is talking about, but there's money to be made on it, so we're going to break it down for you. F.A. Jagba and Joe Goodall um, on ESPN Plus. That's tomorrow night. Before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, follow 3D Boxing and uh, 3D Boxing Blog on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single episode to break it down. Uh, and, and show you how to make money. Uh, we don't gamble. Uh, I use DraftKings. I can't even use DraftKings in Texas. Um, but if you do gamble, if you do bet on sports, I'm going to show you how to make money consistently. I'm going to show you how to make a second stream of income betting on boxing. Okay? Um, all you have to do is follow my channel, make all the bets I tell you to make, and you will consistently make money. We've hit four in a row now after a rough week. Um, so pay attention. Uh, we're going to make money on F.A. Jagba and uh, Joe Goodall. Also, please subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All right, let's get into today's show. Um, this is a good heavyweight fight. I was surprised the odds were as wide as they were, but I don't think anyone really knows Goodall. He beat Stephen Shaw and knocked him out. Stephen Shaw gave F.A. Jagba all the troubles in the world. Um. I, I like the way F.A. looked um, in his last fight out. Um, he, he, he's fighting a little bit more off the back foot. He's more moving than just a slow plotting target, right? Like, he, he, you know, the guy is fairly athletic for, you know, a guy who's 6'6", 240. Both guys are around 6'6", 240. But in the last fight, Zahn uh, Kasabutsky, I, I thought it was the best he's looked so far. I, I really do. Uh, I was impressed with the performance. Uh, this was a fight a lot of people. He was actually a slight betting uh, underdog. Kasabuski was a slight favorite. It was 19-0. He got destroyed. He finally ended up getting disqualified for low blows. He's trying to get himself out of the fight, and he did. Um, that It was a bounce back of the fight with Stephen Shaw, which was not super impressive. Um, but he eked out a, a 96-94 three-way uh, times three decision at the turning stone. Oh, for sure. Um, this is a big fight. Uh, Godal is a guy, again, without a lot of hype and gloss, but he's got to win over Stephen Shaw. He lost to Uni, um, and Uni has gone on to be Tabidi. Like, Uni's a good fighter, uh, and there's a lot to like about Godal, right? He's got a good jab. He throws in combination. He throws in really good combination. So does Uni. That's something the heavyweights over there in Australia do. He's also the same size. He's about 6'5 and a half, 240. It's not going to be a, not, a noticeable size difference in the ring. Both guys are around the same size. Um, he's got a lot of tools in his toolbox. He has a nice little uppercut on the inside. Like I said, he has a hook. He throws in threes and fours. He, he's, a, he's a good little fighter. Um, he's got a durable chin, it looks like. But he's got major flaws, and his major flaws is he's very easy to hit. He's slow. He's super slow, and uh, defensively, he, he leaves his body wide open. A has got a good body attack. It's a bad combination. Now, I'll be honest. It appears that he can take it to the body, but when a guy can hit like a Jogba, you don't want to, and eventually he's going to break you down and stop you. Um, you know, and he's got good pop, too, but Ajagwa's got better pop. Like He can definitely hit. He can definitely tag you. But Ajagwa is the bigger hitter of the two. And I, I think, you know, uh, he's faster, um, Ajagwa. Um, you know, both guys can be caught from the outside. Both guys are defensively flawed. Uh, but his flaws are, are so glaring defensively. Um, you know, and he's been over able to overcome because Shaw's not a puncher, and, and and he's pretty durable. He's got a durable chin. He takes it to the body well, so he's able to overcome his defensive flaws and win the fight on offense. But I, I don't think this particular fight he's going to be able to do that. Uh, but this is a good fight, which he could win, and this is why I don't love this bet. I'm going to show you the best way to make money on this, but I really don't love the odds in this fight because when you see the odds, you say, oh, this fight's closer than that. It, 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 it's closer than that. Um and ultimately, Goodell is a sucker for a right hand. He'll he'll eat right hands. He'll, he'll try to switch to the southpaw stance sometimes, and it, it won't work for him. He's going to get nailed with right hands. And these are bad things when you fight a, a guy with a big right hand like a Jogba. Um, 
Look, Jogba's more fluid, and I know that's weird because he's not a, 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 a real nimble guy, but he's, he's gotten better. He's improved in a lot of things. I think at this point, Jogba's pretty good. Like, he's a pretty good fighter. Um, you know, he, he's worked on his combinations. He's not just throwing right hands. He's not so mechanical. He's doing things a lot better than, you know, when he was blowing guys away, like, and, and, and he's fighting nobody's when he was in PBC and Curtis Harper walked out the ring. He's a better fighter than that all around. Um, it's like I said, really good body attack. Uh, but he eats a lot of shots too, and it could be a problem. But I also noticed, and, and we haven't seen Godal go very deep into fight, so this is what made it interesting. He did go deep into the fight, uh, with Hooney, and he seemed to really fade. Like he started, he started throwing less. He, he throws some pretty good volume early. He started throwing, and it was the first time, no, it was, uh, yeah, it was the first time he had been scheduled for 10, but he. Uh, this is the first time he actually went 10. Um, and I, I thought the fight was competitive. He was probably losing. One of the judges had 190. That's not right. Uh, 98, 92, 97, 93, I think is about right. And he won those rounds early. And then he got dominated in the second half. And he, his punch volume dropped. Uh, it didn't seem to have as much sting on his punches. And um, he started eating more shots. He was more stationary. And he really seemed to fade. And that's a bad sign, again, if you're fighting a Jaguar. Jaguar doesn't waste a lot, he doesn't waste a lot of punch, he doesn't waste a lot of energy, and he sustains his energy. And I, I think we're looking at a late a Jaguar stoppage. Uh, I'm going to show you the odds now. Um, I think, it, you know, it's accumulation. He breaks him down and lands something big uh, on, on, on a hurt fighter. But I'm going to show you the odds now. I'm going to show you why I don't love this fight. But, you know, it is a main event on ESPN, so we're going to show you how to make money on it. And it's always a bull market somewhere. Um and this is what I'm saying. Like, Jogba is minus 600. Godal is plus 400. It's not a bad bet to pick Godal, but he's not going to win the fight, and that's the issue. Like, this fight's closer than that. Jogba should not be a minus 600. He should be minus 350 or something like that. 600 is way too wide, um, but he'll probably win. And I'm not going to touch because I said around 8 or 9, so I'm really not going to touch the over-under. I, I don't love this. I would probably go under, but again, it, it, it's it, it's. I think there's better bets to be made, right? Because you're going to get the same odds on this, which is what I think is going to happen, which is your best odds. A Jogba, and I think by late stop, is a, and that's paying almost even money. So right here, what we've been able to do, if a Jogba wins by knockout, we've been able to take a two-to-one bet. Make it a two to one bet, basically. Right? We're going to bet two hundred, and we're actually going to win a little over a hundred dollars. So we're going to walk away a little uh, over three hundred and four dollars or something like that um, on this bet. A one times bet for a hundred dollars on a Jogba, and a one times bet on a, uh, a Jogba by KO, TKO, or DQ, and th that's going to pay pretty well for how big the odds are. So uh, I, I don't think it's a stretch. Like, I, I think if you ask 10 people, nine of them are going to tell you Jogba wins this fight by late stoppage. Um, you know, so I, I, I think that's, that's the bet to make. We're also going to uh, head out a little bit, you know, and, and uh, make some money on a Jogba on the money line. Although that's, you know, it's, it's not great there. Um, it's only paying it's a hundred dollar bet's going to pay you 1666. I wish the odds were a little closer. If I was making this, um, I, I would make uh, Gadal plus 200 and a Jogba minus 350. I think it's that kind of fight. I, I think these odds are way too wide, but I, I do think, you know, I, I don't see Gadal getting an early stoppage. Uh, like there's three ways this fight could end. A Jogba by early stoppage, a Jogba by late stoppage, or Gadal by early stoppage. The, the least likely, I think, is Gadal by early stoppage. Right, uh, I don't think he can endure till the end. Like I said, I, I noticed pretty noticeable gas tank issues. Like he faced pretty early in the fight. Uh, Uni's not a puncher. He's not. He wasn't. You know, killing him to the body. You know, he just seemed to fade. Like he's a big guy, and and he faded. I think a Jogba who conserves energy, doesn't waste a lot. He's going to stop him. Um, I think he's going to stop him late. So let me know what you guys think. That's what we're doing. We're doing a Jogba. At minus 600 and a jog would win by KO, TKO, DQ at minus 115. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every big fight, even the ones we don't love, like this one. 
Uh, but we're going to show you how to make money on every big fight. And uh, stay with me, and we'll consistently make money. Want, want a hot streak right now. Uh, we have two underdogs tomorrow and this fight. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, it is November 3rd, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.